Greetings, all, son of a bitch. Greetings all from this world. We are the Quest Bros. Welcome to the Side Quest Podcast. I am the Quest Master, aka Jared. With me, almost as always, is Matt, Anthony, Andrea, Andrea, and Dan. Cool. Okay, so we were having a discussion about like the Harry Potter timeline, which is fitting because it's San Diego Comic Con week. Sort of. I think Comic Con just ended on Sunday. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, but if you go back and look at all this stuff, and Dumbledore's like 90 years old, if you think about it, how like a 1900 exactly, like a 1901 person acted in present time, they are kind of like, what is this technology? Plus, he's always at fucking Hogwarts. True. It's like a huge fucking hermit, dude. Yeah. Except for when he's not. Also, let's be honest, um, The Goblet of Fire is probably one of the best um, Harry Potter movies. I like that one a lot. I like... Which one's my favorite? I like the one with the werewolf dude. Oh, three? Uh, the Prisoner of Azkaban? Azkaban? Yeah. That one was good. Like, that one is hard to keep up with, but if you keep up with it, you're like... Damn, dude, they fucking really thought this through. Of course, Hermione's like a fucking genius. Mm-hmm. And uh, Dumbledore's like, I know you're going to need this, but, uh, but yeah, you're going to need this. And give her a fucking time skippy thing. Mm-hmm. But then I'm sitting there like, damn. Dumbledore you know, thought of everything. They, they, Dumbledore thought of everything, and Hermione thought of like literally everything. Like, not yeah. everything, but, but like, cl- damn close. Mm-hmm. So, since Comic-Con... Fucking also... Sorry. sorry. Ron is fucking worthless. In <laughs> yeah. every film. Yeah, and... If I mean, Ron wasn't there, the only difference would be in the last film, Hermione wouldn't have a love interest, which then could have just been Harry. Yeah. Also, um, let's be honest, Neville has the greatest character arc in those movies. Absolutely. <laughs> because he starts off as just this guy who's like, I'll, I'll fight you, and then just gets bitch slapped to Yeah, the floor. he gets picked on all the way through, and nerds everywhere were feeling him when he cut that fucking phylactery in half. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck this snake! Yeah. This bitch a thought! Yeet! <laughs> like, even, even on the train before that, just going to Hogwarts, he's like, hey, idiot, hey, fuckheads, he's not here. Go away. Yeah. Like, he's just talking. He, he, he grew a bit of gonads. Yes. Like, between that film and the last film. It was just pretty fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. But new movies. Yeah, okay, new I movies. got a whole list of everything to come out of San Diego Comic Con. Oh, boy. We'll go down the whole list and talk about it, obviously. Okay, first thing on here is Aquaman. Yes! Jared and I are very yeah. pumped for this. Dan does not care for it. Matthew? <laughs> Uh, skeptical. It's, okay. Well, why are you skeptical about that? It's yeah. a DC movie or that's Aquaman? Neither. Uh, not that because Aquaman, kind of because it's a DC movie. They haven't actually been all that great in the past, except for Wonder Woman, which was really good. Mm-hmm. I didn't. Oh, are you talking like DC? I or? like Wonder Woman because yeah. it was like okay. it was short and focused story. No, they didn't try to okay, do too much in one thing. Okay, that's that's fair. I don't um, know. Man but Steel it was a was short good. and boring. Okay, yeah, like, focused Man of Steel story. was good too. I thought it was but everything except Man of Steel and Wonder Woman, I have not liked. Man of oh. Steel is literally Aquaman, like, so far I thought it was the worst Superman. It did Superman. not give me yeah. hope. Yeah. Well, I mean, Cause the guy, because I don't know what the I don't know newest his name, one, but he was in some really yeah. stupid pose. And then most the of the actors good. I just thought oh, that, that the movie was stories. Yeah. No. I mean, the actors. So fine. I mean, okay. Just, can't have side conversations at the same time. It just didn't put a whole lot of work into the poster. And then I saw the trailer, and the trailer didn't look interesting at all. To me, the trailer made it seem like Black Panther but underwater. Because it's this whole world that, <laughs> that, that like, is not an original idea. I just no, I know. It. No, I, I know. But this is I like, I want to discuss that. on why I think that and why I believe that. Underwater because, Wakanda. Yeah, because like Wakanda is this whole country that like no one knows about and no one has been able to find. And that's what Atlantis is. No one knows about it. No one knows what it's about. And it's about this king who wants to combine it with the real world. So, wait. Or take over in this case. My question is, who would kill Mongerby? Would it be Black Manta or his... Uh, his brother. brother. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, but Black Panther didn't want to make Wakanda part of the real world until after he's like... Well, it's not going to be a cut and paste Black Panther. It's got like the same type of like general idea. The same setting. setting yeah, but same also setting. Aquaman, like... Don't forget sea sorcery. Aquaman kind of does, kind of doesn't. 
He wants to unite it with the world, but he doesn't want the corruption of the world to infect Atlantis. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Also, he technically doesn't want to be a king. He's yeah, that's like... another thing. He's just a boy that was raised in a lighthouse, which I'm so glad they kept to. I yeah. saw the trailer the other day, and I was like, motherfuckers are going to totally change this up. And they didn't change much up. Yeah. Oh. It was just a dude sitting in a lighthouse, saw a mermaid, decided to take her in and fuck her. That's, that's how Aquaman is born. I also like that. Like, <laughs> it's sort of like the story of Keith and Voltron. Exactly. I like how it is. Jason Momoa is on him. Man. Fucked her. <laughs> because if like the comic book Aquaman looks like Mermaid Man from SpongeBob. Yeah. And if they did Mer- uh, Aquaman like that, this movie would have fell. Like even the Justice League would have been stupid. Yeah. Yeah. But this makes it more interesting and more, I guess, fun or exciting. Yeah. I yeah, I, I like him better as a drunkard and less as a happy-go-lucky blonde boy. Yeah. Yep. I like him better as the blonde boy, too, though. I like him better as the blonde boy. Mainly because I saw the uh, DC animation movies of all of these, Mm -hmm. which are really fucking good. Mm -hmm. They're, like, they're amazing. Was this the one where he had the hook for a hand? Uh, yes, that's the same films, but that's when they go off to, like, an alternate universe. Oh, Flashpoint Paradox. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's it. That's Where, like, everyone's an asshole, and Aquaman hates Wonder Woman, yeah. and yeah. Aquaman's kicking the shit out of her. <laughs> Aquaman's like, I'm a god! Wonder Woman's like, dude, bitch. Like, I'm I, part god. I'm part god, too. And they're going at it, and she, then Wonder Woman realizes, like, shit, I'm only a demigod. He's an actual god. Ah! Hook hand! Ah! Look bitch. at my hook! It's enormous! Yeah, th- those are fucking funny as fuck, though. Alright. So, those so are great. Next is Shazam. I I actually like the trailer. Yes, that one did look good. Yeah. I'll watch the one with I Black Adam. I won't watch this one. I'll watch the next one. Is it because it's The Rock? Yeah. No. Uh, every movie with Dwayne's good, dude. Yeah. I, I like, every movie because like there was um there was a movie on Netflix and it was like the origin of Shazam and just based on the trailer it looked like it got exactly it right mm-hmm. um and even the, even in the trailer there's a scene where Billy takes his brother's cane and beats the bullies up with it that's right out of the comics as well um so so far I but mean, it, it seems, almost them to copy the comics well, exactly well no but no. I mean like think about it like when he's dancing and stuff like that's still modern but like they're still taking like the iconic moments from yeah. the comic book okay bro was that's, doing that's the floss meant. yeah was he? I yeah. didn't see that yeah, yeah when he was when doing he was the testing strength. his strength and then he punched the wall mm-hmm. but but I like it because it's about a kid like a like a freshman in high school mm-hmm. stuck inside in an adult superhero and doesn't know what to do with it and he's discovering that and yeah. like it can be a, it can be like the Ant-Man of the, the DCU I believe so basically what he's saying, in a nutshell, is this is Puberty, the movie. Except with lightning powers. Except with lightning and powers and flying. Yeah. 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 But it still looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. I, th- I have good hopes for it. It's a kid who's socially awkward and just kind of weird. And then suddenly, growing suddenly up into a superhero. And then it's suddenly 6'2". <laughs> mm-hmm. What happens when he's like an adult and he goes... Shazam! And he just gets a costume? Like, what happens there? I well, he still turns into a different person. Yeah. He gets a wider not, chin. Yeah, it's not his older self that he's turning into. He's turning into a completely different person. I know, but why does that person look exactly like he would in 30 years? How do you know that? How do you know the kid's not going to be old and fat in 30 years? See, what I... Okay, here's a better way Fair. of describing... Like, the best example of Shazam I found was in Young Justice, because with Billy Batson... You can tell that kid ain't gonna have a wide chin or fat muscles. Yeah. But when he turns into Shazam, he's just got no. You can barely see where his neck and the rest of his chest begins and ends. Mm-hmm. That's how muscly he is. Yeah, that's that's the Hercules in him. Hercules, yep. Hercules, Hercules. So then, these. So then, next is Godzilla, King of the Monsters. I didn't see the first oh. Shin Godzilla. So I, ha- I didn't see the first Godzilla. I haven't seen the first. 30 Godzillas, so I don't know if I'll see this Godzilla this either. This one looks really cool, though, because it, like, combines, like, a bunch of Godzilla monsters. That's but at the same time, that's what I'm worried about. Yeah, that it could like, be I like much. Skull Island because, you know, it's focused on just King Kong. Mm-hmm. But this time, they're bringing in, like, the entire monster verse. Well, they're, 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 they're bringing in, like, one Mothra. Movie. They, they've only, they've it's only the shown... MCU monster cinematic universe. They've only shown three. There, Of course, there's potential for more. I don't think King Kong is in it. Do they have that yeah, Hydra like, monster? It's, it's a Hydra yeah. and Mothra they've shown. 
Oh. And it's like, that worries me, because I feel like they're going to try to do too much in one movie, like Justice League kind yeah. of do. I mean, if they stick with the three monsters, I think that's fine, because those yeah. are the... Including Godzilla, those are the three iconic Godzilla monsters: Hydra and Mothra. When Mecha Godzilla? Not no, this not, no. I hope not. This Mecha movie. Godzilla comes from space way later, though. I know, but still, right? when Mecha Godzilla? Or no, I'm it thinking of someone on which else. One you, which Godzilla thing you watch? There was um, like an anime version of Godzilla released on a couple of years ago, and what it was is aliens came from outer space, and then they built Mecha Godzilla on Earth. Yeah, and then there was another one where, like, the government built Mechagodzilla yeah. to yeah. fight Godzilla, and then Mechagodzilla went rogue or something. Yeah, mm-hmm. which so it depends on what you want. All right. All I can say is it's just going to be the same thing. Godzilla. Giant monster, city, city no more, monster leaves. Yeah, because also the um, Eleven from Stranger Things, she's in it. Oh, really? Yeah, hmm. she's, like, one of, like, the main characters. So it's really cool to see her. What's really company. funny, though, is every Godzilla's movie always ends the same where godzilla just kind of becomes the government's tool and everyone loves godzilla because it's the protector of tokyo well what is weird because like the trailer <laughs> shows that it's right like, they need yeah. like all three of the monsters for something are like, the aliens back i don't like i don't know like the trailer doesn't really show off anything but it that's so they're the gonna bring though. in mecha godzilla probably no because it's yes. showing that they need like the origin monsters not man-made monsters doesn't mean that they won't be a man-made monster later. I don't think, based on how the movie's set, it doesn't seem like it. Also, there was, like, a Godzilla video game when I was younger, and it was pretty much, like, like just any fighter, 2D fighter game. Yes, I know what you're talking but about. But it had, like, Hydra, Golden Hydra, fucking Mothra, yep. a mechanical Mothra, and it had, like, a good 20 freaking monsters, I'm pr- pretty sure. Yep. That game was, like, amazing. I loved it. And then each ca- each monster had powers. Oh, my God. Um, what I was going to say is we still haven't heard or seen a trailer for Stranger Things Season 3, which I'm excited for. They gave a teaser trailer. Oh, they did? Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, I know what I'm doing after this. Um, <laughs> Matt, do you watch Stranger Things? No. Me no, neither. No. I, 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 I really like Stranger Things. It's, it's good. Then you would like Stranger Things. I looked at some of the monsters in it, and I just yeah. You would laughed. hate it because because they don't name base, the monsters right. Yeah, they don't name the monsters right. They name them based on what they need for like D and D stuff. So they're like, we want it to look like this. All right, let's just call it this. Yeah, they're also kids, so you know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's a single monster in there that looks like its actual mythological or real world counterpart. Yeah. Not even the uh, only two mind player. Oh, the illithid looking fucker. Yeah, the big. Yeah, okay, that's. But illithids aren't fucking massive, Cthulhu like. True. I mean, it was also another universe world where he gets stuck in his mind, basically. Another dimension. Anyway. So Maybe that represents how much he fears the illithids. Yeah. Like, which like, shit, he should. Because those girl. fuckers suck out your brain with their little fucking tongue thing. Ah. Oh. They hold you and just. Ugh, jab you right up the nose. Sort of like with aliens and the tiny mouth thing. Yeah, oh. illithids are fucked, dude. They can instantly kill you in D and D with that move. Fun. Anyway, what's next? Uh, glass. So, I. What? What's that? So M Night Shyamalan. Oh God. He did oh, a movie. Split was go. good. Split. I he did was a movie good. way a few years back called Unbreakable with um. Bruce Willis? Willis? Yeah. That's a great movie. Yeah, it's a really good guy, movie. Where the guy, like, his bones don't break, mm-hmm. he was in but a train accident. Yeah. yeah, and, and his then, bones are brittle as fuck. He also yeah. did Split, which was a homicidal maniac with split personality. Yeah, with James M- McAvoy. McAvoy yeah. What is Glass about? Glass is about Samuel L. Jackson's character. Oh. Oh, oh I see the parallels. Nice. Yeah, so it's combining all three of the movies together. Wait, actually? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, at the end of Split, they kind of reference that. They bring in Bruce Willis. Yeah, they do. Oh, yeah. I never saw Split. I, just I, I haven't it. either. My dad only made me see the end of Split because he saw it, and he actually called me home from Dan's house <laughs> just so that I could watch the end because we love Unbreakable, and it shows him in the cafe while the report on the Split guy getting away. He's what? What is he called? The Horde. The Beast. The Horde. The Beast is Beast. Yeah. I thought they called him the Horde because there were so many personalities that he had. Oh, his his like his like bad self is the Beast. I guess. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. So Damn. yeah, it, the glass is about um, Samuel L. Jackson's character. You know, he glass. broke like every bone in his body when he was born. Yeah, he mm-hmm. said in the trailer he said he's had ninety two fractures. Damn. Yeah. Oh, 
like the thing about us that wants fun stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Us. <laughs> I was born with paper skin. And yeah. Yeah. flat bones. Every morning I break my arms and every night I break my legs. <laughs> what? Until my heart attacks <laughs> put me to sleep. That? I don't think I know the episode you're talking about. The chocolate about. episode. Chocolate episode. I'm gonna bring it up. When they sell chocolate? Yeah. 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 Until yeah. my what, heart what attacks about put that? me to sleep. It's in that's, episode. Yeah, that's yeah. the guy that scams them into buying chocolate from him. The chocolate bags. No, the but bags. It was chocolate, chocolate bags, and then he buys, and then they buy the chocolate from the guy. Oh, okay, yeah. Because he was in the disguise. Yeah. Samuel L. Jackson is one fuzzy, funny motherfucker. Dude. Oh yeah, he's he is. There's a, that he's one, very versatile. There's that one movie where or video where he's like, "Does Samuel L. Jackson like anime?" Yes, I. Do. Yes, I do. And tattoo. And and like, like, dude, you're so <laughs> chill. Like, <laughs> like, why are you so chill? Like. I want what you're having, dude. Samuel L. Jackson, p- do anime dubs, please. <laughs> oh my God, Damn right, awesome. dude. So another movie, what, Predator? Do I, I haven't seen that. Ooh, I've seen, see the, I've seen the first and second trailer. The comedy is good. Every the, I like the uh, redesign for the Predator. It looks good. How oh fucking God. hilarious would it be, like, halfway through that movie, the guy's like, we need to get someone who knows how to fight these fucking things. I know and, something. And they, Face hugger. And they fucking turn around and get Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger. That would be amazing. Like old Arnold Schwarzenegger. And he's like, I'm too old for this fucking shit. You're and he like gets up ugly and, motherfucker. And he, yeah, he gets up and joins like the group. Like, come on. Like, that's what everyone wants, let's yeah. be honest. Arnold, get in here. It's time. <laughs> Uh, am I going to Let's go, the... you one badass governor. Am I going to am I going to fight the uh, the predator again? Yes. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Not again. We just saw the movie like Escape Plan just the other day. Really good. That was fucking really what good. What was that? Scene? I saw it for my first time just oh, the other day. Movie, yeah. Where he escapes the unescapable prison. Yeah. What's the one movie where it has Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, Rock, the guy who played Rocky? The Expendables. Yes. Yeah. I have not seen the first or the second one. I want to see those though. They're pretty good. Yeah. They're, like they're all, all like, pretty good. It's like all the big badass movie actors mm-hmm. that they can find and put into one movie. It's like the Avengers, but cooler. Yeah. It's pretty like much, the Avengers yeah. if they were human. <laughs> now all we need is a movie where it has the Expendables, and the Avengers. Oh yes. I believe they call that Atlas. I'm just kidding. The, no, that's the antithesis. The Avengers. <laughs> the Avengers. The Avengers. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it sounds like a Lunchables the ripoff Lunchables. of Avengers. <laughs> the Avengers. <laughs> so another movie. Oh, nuggets. Um, this doesn't have any interest to me. I only feel like it would interest Jared. Um, Night Flyers. What is that? It's a sci-fi. It's a movie. It's, I'll, I'll read what it says. Please. Base is the place for sci-fi's Night Flyers, based on the Game of Thrones author George R. R. Martin's 1980s novel. So it's a sci-fi version of Game of Thrones. I think Sorry, I know what you're know. talking about. Okay. I read a short story about it be- when I was st- uh, just starting to get into Tol- uh, not Tolkien, uh, Martin. Martin's work. Okay. And I I wasn't a fan per se, but it was interesting. I told you my biggest issue with his work, though. Right? We I had this conversation. Did, yeah. mm-hmm. Everyone's yeah. so fucking dumb. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's like not a single smart person in those. I, I in feel that. sorry for Sansa because she is constantly being beaten down and called dumb. And it's like, no, you're just ignorant to the world, sweetie. It's like, like, okay, Don't there was, me. they had that, um, they had that fucking telltale game. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I was like. The whole time, I was like, okay, these guys are kind of assholes, but they're not unreasonable. Like, they even stop and they, like, okay, that's pretty reasonable, but the only reactions you can give in that game are unrealistic and unreasonable of your character. Eddard's whole approach to, and spoilers, to exposing the fact that Joffrey isn't exactly King Baratheon's true-born son, he went about it the wrong way. It's just so... Which sucked, because that's what got him killed. Yeah, Spoilers. it's just so dumb though. It's like Rest in peace, you would have just if you would have just came out and were like, you know what, I'm not gonna do anything from this. So let me give in to you. We would all make tons of money, tons of profit, all be happy, and you would still have the power, and you I'd would be, still be alive. The only difference is, is you would be doing this for <clears throat> this person instead of the king. 
Who cares if they are the king? Only one person could be the king anyways. Yeah. So even, why is everyone trying to fucking suck someone's dick to be the king? And even then, the king is more is sort of more like a figurehead in this universe because it's his council that, that makes does all these decisions. Yeah. Exactly. So it's like, who the fuck wants to be the king anyways? Yes, you die. Y- yeah. And if <laughs> you're, you're not the king, you still die. You're the figurehead that gets constantly trying to be assassinated. Yeah. Who wants that? It just, everyone in that universe is a fucking idiot. Like, if they were in D&D, no one would have above an 11 intelligence. Except for, there is one person that's really freaking smart, and he's on the wall. Because he's hiding for good reasons. And I don't want to spoil anything, because it's such a good twist. Yeah, you already spoiled. Yeah, I already spoiled Ed's death. But then again, that book has been out for, like, I want to say 10 years, and the season is 7 years old. Yeah, it's been a It's the first season. Fair. Fair. Alright, next. Titans. The Teen Titans TV show. Fuck Batman. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck also, Batman. Also, he has Batarang, or he has Robin Rangs that aren't even shaped in Robins. They're shaped into R's. Yeah, that's what they were before. No, they're, really? they were Robin I thought Rangs. that was Nightwing. Had them like that. No. No, both of them had them like Robin's them. first off thing was like the wings of like a... Like it was just yeah, like... Yeah, it was in the shape of a Robin. It yeah. Looked, it was like a bat. Oh, was, okay, yeah, yeah, I see it now. I'm, yeah. yeah, so first of all... I don't know how the fuck that would work as a throwing device yeah, because it's not R. aerodynamic. <laughs> Second of all, why an R? It's way, this I, this trailer was way too dark. Like they're trying way too hard with it. Now, they when are. you say dark, do you mean gritty or lighting wise? <laughs> both. both. <laughs> I was gonna say I've I've seen this post where it's like, dude, I I like DC and Marvel equally, but they're just. DC is way too dark. It's like, why? They're both gritty. It's also, like, no, they're just way too dark. I can't see anything that's happening. <laughs> Deadpool. Are you sure you're not from the, the DC, DC universe? universe? Yes. Ugh, it's so dark. It's so good. So, I, just, no, with this Titans trailer, like, like they're kill. Like, I don't know what Robin's like co- moral compass is if he's not supposed to kill people, but he's like straight up murdering people. He's stomping heads in. Yeah, and it's it's, it's like Green Arrow. Okay. Uh, season one. Quick question. Let's see if you guys know the answer, because I do. Who is the Robin supposed to be in Teen Titans? That is supposed Nightwing. to be Drake. No, Drake is Nightwing, sorry. It's the Nightwing Robin. No. He grows up to become Nightwing, and they, they it's, start fire. It's meant to be, yes. But in this one, it's not Batman's son. It's the one before. No, it's still Batman's no, Damian, 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 Damian is Damian's, Batman's son. son. Yes. But that's not the one that goes off. I don't remember the names. Okay. Is, is, is it Todd? Is it Todd? Yeah, it should be Todd. In this one, yeah, I, I need I need the list of the names. Hold okay, on. the one in the Jason original Todd, Teen Titans. Grayson, Damian Wayne. Um, it's Dick. No, it's not Dick. It's I think it's Jason Todd. Jason Todd. Because well, no, Jason has Red Hood. Duh. Oh fuck. Yeah, and uh, Jason was... Todd is Red Hood, and um, the one before Damian, what's that one? Dick, Dick Grayson. Grayson. Dick no. Grayson. No, no, Damien's sorry, no. like the last one. Da- yeah, Damian. Who's is the still, third one? Damian is still following Batman. Uh, Who's the third one? I Who's the third one? Stephanie Brown is the only girl one. And she becomes Batgirl. Mm-hmm. Also, the third one becomes Red Robin. Also, yum. Yeah. Anyway. Shut uh, up. Tim, Tim Drake. Tim, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Tim Drake that's becomes why Red confused. Robin. So like they Drake. all become something else. So the only one it can be is Damien. But it's not. Or. Well, who was the first one? It's not because Starfire. It's not yes. Dick Grayson. Actually, in the original Teen Titans anime, it's actually none of them. It's actually a whole, a whole new one. It's a whole it's new one. It's Dick Grayson, but it's a whole different one based off of all five of them. In, yeah. Well, minus Stephanie, so all four of them combined, and that's actually who it is. Also, it's not Dick Grayson. Actually, it's actually a mixture of all four of them. That's what the director said. So that's what it is. But in all the other films and animations of it, it's always been Damian Wayne. Mm-hmm. Okay. So this one, it should be Damian Wayne, which makes sense why he's kind of like, fuck Batman. Because Damian Wayne is the only Robin that hates, hates Batman. Batman. Which is ironic. Like Except Jason Todd, who. Who's the Red Hood? Yeah. Who, who only hates betrayed. Batman because. Batman wouldn't, Batman kill, the wouldn't kill the Joker. <laughs> yeah. Also. After the Joker killed. Mm-hmm. Jason. Yeah. Also, people are complaining that Starfire isn't orange. I'm complaining because Beast Boy isn't green. No, he's green, but it's like a really weird looking green. All, all um, I've seen from the photo- photos is just his hair is green and that's it. His hair is red. That's even worse! Yeah. Yeah, that's stupid. 
Yeah, no. Uh, Maybe it is green. Maybe it's his outfit that's red. They Be- better not do... Beast Boy needs to be red with a purple outfit. Starfire needs to be orange with, with a purple With outfit. a purple, purple like, bikini outfit. Raven needs to be gray with her purple outfit. Raven, <laughs> Raven like in this in this trailer, Raven is just like some angsty teenager. Mm-hmm. That's what she is, though. That's yeah. what the animation was like too. She but, was, but like, like this is like a worse version of that. Like she was an angsty teenager in the animation, but like you could deal with it. This is like I, I'm like just like she shut up, Raven. No, there's an animated movie of Teen Titans. And Teen Raven Titans trouble in to- Tokyo. No, there's oh. an animated movie, an actual movie. That's not oh, the original. It's DC made. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. I like that one. That and one was good. it has Damian Wayne, a 20 something year old Starfire, a, like a 18 year old Beast Boy, a 20 something year old Cyborg. Yeah, Cyborg isn't in this. And a 15 year old Raven. Okay, it wasn't It wasn't Judas Contract. I think I know which one you're talking about. Yeah. Judas Contract was the more recent one where it had, it had Terra, Beast Boy. They were no, this team. one didn't have Terra. No, this yeah. one just has, at least as of what we know, it only has the four of them. Cause, also. Because Cyborg's not going to be in it because he's in the movies. Yeah. Also, speaking of Teen Titans, why the fuck is Teen Titans Go getting a movie? Oh, it's getting, like, great reviews. It, when, no! Last, last time I checked, it was at 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. Why? Really? Yeah. That's... Why? The only good part about the trailer was the Deadpool joke. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. It was getting really good reviews. I'm sad now. I'm physically oh, sad. I mean, people just have bad taste these days. Mm-hmm. I mean... I mean, yeah, because I enjoy Game of Thrones. Co- I'm just kidding. Common sense is not common. It's Remember gone out that. the window. <laughs> In a blaze of glory. Sorry, what's I next? I keep seeing your Flash Gordon thing, and I just want to go, Flash! Ah. Alright, so next, um, there's a new trailer for... Taylor the, for, of the Universe! So next, there is a new trailer for <laughs> Doctor Who. I did Who not cares? see it, and I'm not. I Isn't don't the care next anymore. Doctor Who supposed to be a girl? Yeah. She is a girl. She's already a girl. Fuck that. Who cares? I liked it. Jody no, Wa- fuck Jody that. Whittaker. She's a very famous I British actor. It, so. No, fuck I that. It looks pretty interesting. Like I, I, I like it more because like it looks more modern now. Fuck that. Okay, I'm trying to talk. <laughs> um, so like instead of like old Doctor Who like just looking old and gritty, like this actually looks more like movie esque. Like, like the recording of it. Yeah, you know, I, I've seen the trailer, and it does look yeah, more modern. It, yeah, and it looks like more, like, better quality. Do they actually have better CGI now? I don't know. They Probably didn't not. <laughs> it's it's Doctor Who and BBC. Um, they're, so the creator of The Simpsons and Futurama, they have a new show called Disenchantment that's going to be on Netflix. It's just, uh, like, an animated adult animation show. Yeah, I've seen the trailer okay. for it. Um, it's Simpsons comedy. Yeah, so, mm-hmm. Simpsons is slight Futurama, not as raunchy as Futurama, but more Simpsons, like more simple as Simpsons. Okay, it's like I just want to find myself. I just want to see all the world's treasures. I just want to summon a demon and kill everyone. That's literally the three characters. Mm-hmm. You got a shadow demon. I want to say a goblin and then a runaway princess. Yeah. Hmm. Um, Young Justice coming back. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm excited. Not really. Eh. You shush. Dude, um, Matt, me and you, same They're bringing boat. back the Runaways. Like, the, 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 just... Mm. <laughs> Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Was mm. that the show or the movie? Show. Oh. The new cartoon. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, I've seen that. The animation uh, movie. Yeah, no, because April is... Not April. Yeah, um... Clone Wars, Star Wars. Yeah. Okay, Animated I have a one. few questions, because the Netflix... <laughs> You can tell I the like Clone this Wars show. will pick up right where it left off in 2013. It's an anthology series. It's, there's nowhere to. I know, because and they left on such a good note with the Netflix show where Yoda figured out I mean, how to like pass on yeah. to the Force. But the thing is, it's an anthology series. You can pick up and leave off wherever you damn well yeah. want. Mm-hmm. But the tra- so, the trailer was still good. I know, I know. I'm just saying, but then they have a lot of content to use. There were a lot of episodes that went unfinished and mm-hmm. unused. Well, when did Disney buy? Star Wars. Uh, I can't uh, remember. Um, 2014. Because I was gonna say, is remember. any of that like canon? Um, um technically, Clone Wars is because yeah, Rebels, is Rebels, which is a continuation is from canon. that story. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which is on Disney Channel. Okay. Or Disney. XD. So um, so I was gonna say, is this gonna like reintroduce or recanon some things? Maybe it may introduce characters we know that's in that's canon in the Star Wars. Like movies, okay, and possibly stuff from Rebels, yeah. Because 
if you listen closely in Rogue One, they reference the ghost from I mean, Rebels. The, the whole thing with canon is the only <clears throat> thing that happened with Disney taking over is they got they took out everything oh. after the Galactic Civil War. Yeah. Anything that happened after that, they kind of cut, like, this doesn't happen anymore, we're going to do our own thing. Right. So all that's no longer canon. The Yuuzhan Vong invasion, fuck that, not canon. Yeah. You know? The but everything else before was kept, so the Clone Wars, the Galactic Civil War, and all And they that stuff. fixed the title! Instead of it being Star of the Clone Wars Wars, it's Star Wars Clone Wars, which is good! I'm glad they're learning! Star Wars The Clone Wars, yeah. That's the new title, because it's this, and then it has the block, and then The Clone Wars, all in big bold. Oh, but the way you would read that, it was Star Wars, and then in the middle. I know, but still, like... Uh, Star Clone Wars Wars? Star <laughs> The Clone Wars Wars, yes. Okay. That's And I kept mocking them for it. It's like, the this Clone doesn't make sense. Clone Wars is my favorite it. era in Star Wars. I know. I, when also, the logo for Star Wars was just, like, Star Wars. It's side by side, not up and down like that. Yeah, no, no. For some, some <laughs> but the, in the way back when, like the original trilogy. I was did. super disappointed with episode three when they released that because they skipped the entire Clone Wars. I know. So which... From the first Battle of Geonosis all the way to the Battle of Coruscant. The very beginning of the war to the very end of the war. I know. It pissed me off. I knew that. You, you still didn't like episode three, though? No, I didn't like it because I skipped the entire Clone Wars. That's the I only reason you hate it? Part. Yeah. Really? They skipped, the, they skipped all the good parts. I, I understand that, but they also made a a mini cartoon series by the same guy who did Samurai but Jack. That cartoon series wasn't that great. It wasn't good. It helped explain some it stuff that good, happened. Though. It wasn't good. Fine. You but we have clone year. we have Star of the Clone Wars Wars yes, and Star I, Wars the Clone that's Wars. That's why I'm excited for that kind of yes, stuff. Yes. Because then it's going to be explained. They actually cover the war in that. Also, I love nice. I just love Obi-Wan's sass in this in that series. Not like, to mention Obi-Wan is the troll king. <laughs> yes. It's like, sir, there's a ship coming this way. Who is it? Scan for life forms. We're detecting an unusually high amount of sass. Kenobi! <laughs> <laughs> that's the entire... That's Grievous. That's Grievous and Kenobi's entire relationship. It's Hello just, there. General Kenobi. Yes. Um, um, so next, he really is the Troll King. He really Goes is. to fight Darth Vader. Not really there. <laughs> Surprise, he's already, I'm dead! He, he's already part of the Force. This yeah. is just an illusion of him. Also, much, yeah. damn, he's also, such an asshole. When Darth Maul comes Holy back, shit, he's the troll king. <laughs> when, when Darth Maul comes back, he Holy gets shit. super serious and super sad for him. He does. You you know what I'm talking about. I've right? seen it, yeah. Rest in peace, whatever your name was. Darth Maul? No, not for him. He's still alive for Rebels. You're talking about Qui-Gon yeah, Jinn? No, he, he dies in Rebels. Yeah, I know, but no, in the show, when he takes over Mandalore. Oh! Yeah, that. That you was mean, sad. Um, What's yeah. her name? Yeah, the queen. Duchess. Yeah, Duchess Damn, Satine. Duchess, Duchess Jared, Satine. come on. What? If she breathes, she's a thought. Well, she Dude, can't. Ray is a Kenobi. Well, she can't breathe because she's dead. It, it, would would make more sense. it would make more sense to be a Skywalker. I want, I want Ray to be one, like a... A Kenobi. A Kenobi, a Kenobi? Duchess Satine. Yes. It would make more Me sense too. that she... It makes Fuck more you. sense if she was a Skywalker, though. But then I guess... I don't want her to be a Skywalker. What's, yeah, what's the, I don't want what, everyone to be a Skywalker. What's yeah. the guy's yeah. name? Ray, um, Kylo Ren? Yeah, he's a Skywalker, yes. technically. Yeah. So that's the Skywalker. Yeah. So she could technically be whoever the fuck. Well, I, for the longest time, I thought they were going to be brother and sister. I really I hope not. I don't want that. No, I because like that. when they had to have it in like, an episode 8, when they were kept having that connection, that like like before I knew what was happening... And oh. they kept being mm. connected together. I'm like, oh my god, it's because they're related. Because like Luke and Leia did that all the time. No, it's because the evil dude. No, was before being evil. I knew that. Yeah, that's before what I said. Before we I know knew, what you said, but before it's just we knew like, Smeagol bot. Whatever. Plus, I didn't even know that that they could do that with the Force. Yeah. Also, I, I like when Leia like used the Force to like bring herself back. That was kind of. That, that was, was like. Uh, well, I I was thinking they could have done it in a way as if she because like she woke up and did it. But I th- was thinking if she just stayed asleep and, like, her body just naturally did it as, like, a defense mechanism, that would have been more understandable, I think. Yeah. But the way they did it, it made it seem like she already knew how to do that all this time. Dude. Also, she doesn't maybe, have dude. the Force. Like, she, she never had it in any of the other movies, no, and now I she think, does. Like she, well, yeah, like, that's I what I was like. Was. She has it, she just didn't Yeah, I think she was Force-sensitive, but she wasn't trained in the Force. Yeah, right. So, so she, she could have used it. She could have. There was actually a whole comic book series of like what ifs, mm-hmm. where Luke dies on Hoth 
and it's Leia who goes to train with Yoda, and she's actually strong with the Force. Yeah. All right. She had so it. Like, she just didn't have it unlocked. So that's, that's why I said if it was a defense mechanism that her body yeah, was exactly. in, it would have made more Getting sense. thrown exactly. into space leveled her up. Now, yeah. Force Grip. Ugh. Yeah. There was also force another, pull. There was oh. also another one where they didn't destroy the Death Star and Yoda basically crashed it into Coruscant. Holy shit. Oh my yeah. god, that's a lot of dead people. That's a... That's, Worth it. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. The ultimate rage quit. I just like the idea of Yoda being a badass. He's like... He is a badass. Fucking Luke's like... All of the teachings of all everything, Yoda's just like, ah, bah, yeah, cut Shazam! To, <laughs> ah, cuts back to, fuck your teachings. Cuts we don't need that Clone shit Wars. anymore. Cuts to back, cuts back to when Yoda oh, was a troll during shit. the Clone Wars. Can we talk about Star Wars: A New Order? Yeah, we're on the top. Fuck that. Ray's trying to reestablish the Jedi Order after he made a big deal about trying to get rid of it. Where the fuck? Ray, Ray is the only one trying to get the Jedi Order back. Yeah. yeah. Kylo Ren wanted it gone. Luke finally accepted that Luke didn't want it back. Yoda fucking blew up the, ch- the teachings. Yoda doesn't want it back. Yeah, Yoda's like, it is time. I mean, I thought Ray stole the books out of there anyway. No, no, no. The books, the books were burned. Yeah, no. Jedi teachings are gone. Yeah. So, so I thought there was just, something at the end of eight where like she, she opened something it, in the Falcon to put something away, or um. I think. That okay. Makes, also, one book doesn't have all of the Jedi. <laughs> no, it wasn't no one book. It was a bunch so of. It's just, yeah, it's not like the Bible. I, I, there I was a tree. Like her there motivation. was a. I really don't, because she's the only one trying to get back to Jedi Order. When I agree with everyone else, let it die. Also, where the fuck was the ni- were the Knights of Ren during everything? I know no, that's, that's, that's the too. big complaint people have had. Now yeah. they're finally here. It's like okay, finally. It's like you. where did you go? Like, it's also they have a galaxy, huh. so I they could have been off doing something else but while think be with these Kylo the twenty yeah. minute fights <laughs> were happening. Yeah, you. But again, like Anthony said, you'd think they would be with Ren as his honor guard. Yeah, or something. Like, you know how, like, um, Snook had his... Snook. Snook sorry, Snook. Snook. Snooky. Snooky. Snook had his... <laughs> <laughs> Snooky. No, I'm just imagining a giant hologram of Snooky. <laughs> hey, yo, you gotta go kill that bitch. So you know how Snook had, like, his red guards? Yes. Like, yeah. They would and be Emperor like that. Palpatine. Yeah. It'd be like that for Kylo. He'd have his Knights of Ren. I, I get that. But, like, yeah, so it's like, why aren't they there? I mean, what are they doing? Yeah, but he's also not... that also be a cool spin-off movie that I'd be okay with. Right, the anthology movie. Yeah. yeah, the Knights of Ren. Yeah, yeah. or just that, more Morrison just... and what they did. I just like this. What are the Knights of Ren doing? I just like they release a whole like two-hour movie of just them sitting at the bar having a good time. They're just they're, there's just like ones in freaking pajamas, just like walking into their freaking like, kitchen, just getting some orange juice, drinking out. It's like. Yo, dude, everybody shares that. It's like, I don't care. Just yeah. drinks. Okay. It's like, oh, hey, we got a call from the boss. Uh, this bitch empty yeet. <laughs> that means we gotta go! We I gotta know. go do that ship! Does he killed the... Know, does he anybody killed know what this means? Hey, yo, I think Bill knows what... Hey, Bill, what does this mean? Oh, shit, we gotta go! <laughs> <laughs> but also, remember, at the end of episode eight, there was, like, that child who had the force? I appreciate it. When, when he grabbed the broom... <laughs> Oh, you're right. So he there's also had tons the more Jedi's out there. Or at least force sensitive. Sorry, force sensitive people. But Bitches. still, I, I don't think the Jedi Order should be around anymore. I, I mean, they're, they're all gonna die. Yeah, time. that little kid who's just like, broom. I think <laughs> the Jedi <laughs> Order was an entire group of hypocrites, pretty much. They preached balance, but they only practiced the good stuff, like the, for- the force. Yeah, you're they right. Never, they never practiced balance, and that's why the dark side rose. Yeah. Yeah. Which is funny because Rebels actually like, brings like in balance. Says, then again, dark do that, rises, light to meet it. If there's no dark and there's no light, everyone's neutral. The Force is balanced. Yes. Which they actually have. No so, Jedi Order, so, no Sith. Done. And what does no that mean now. exactly? <laughs> so so Kylo Ren was right. We've had Star Wars Fuck! movies without Jedi. Rogue's, uh, was so, Rogue, Rogue One. Rogue, Rogue One Solo. No Force. There was no. no I'm movies. saying then there would have been no point of the eight movies that we had. But that's the point. Is that if you wanted... Okay, the whole thing about the Jedi was to bring the true, like, true force and fucking balance and shit. Matt's right. If you just let it die, then the Sith would die with it, and then the force is balanced. No, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying it's just, like, the movie thing. It's like, in Back to the Future, when he goes back to whatever year, why didn't he just go back 30 minutes? Because then there wouldn't be a movie. 
Yeah. Also, exactly. also, <laughs> it's um, just for the movie aspect of it. But still, it I know, make but sense. it's yeah. I mean, you gotta have a logical a long time reason. Ago. So they didn't really know what they were doing. <laughs> yeah. You gotta have a good reason, though. Yeah, that's why Star Wars isn't technically sci-fi. It's a fantasy movie. Yeah, because it's a it long time ago, but somehow in the future. Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, it's a maybe. It's like the Wakanda thing, where no, it's like it's they're a, all technologically advanced, even though they found these spots in a galaxy years ago. far, far away. It's a long time ago. I, I know, I get long, that. Long but they just might be more advanced than us. Yeah, no, I know. But I have, again, I it's like, like Wakanda. It's like I'm saying, it's like, the future. It's like that's Wakanda. How, that's how um the family guy Star Wars starts. It's a long time ago, but somehow in the future. There's also a song to fight this song about this. Really? About that, yeah. Um, also, I hope Ray builds her lightsaber in the new one. Nope, just let it all die. Let yep, the force die. Say, no double die. lightsaber for you, Missy. No, You're gonna die. I just wanted to build one. I just want to someone build a lightsaber. I feel, I feel like the whole thing is all, taking way too long, though. All it is is it's a capsule, and then they put a gem in it. Yeah, but the yeah. thing is, they're and getting that gem. Star Wars: The Clone Wars does Mine. better. I like that episode. Yeah, I mean, but it's like a whole like With the ceremony patterns. training thing. Yeah, because it's like you pass a challenge to get yeah. your crystal. And then you get There's the no one to can initiate the challenge. Well, that's you don't need to initiate it. No, you Watch just need that, to find a force. That, that Star Wars The Clone Wars episode where they do it. <laughs> yeah, you just need to find a force sensitive cave filled with those. Well, no, because they raided all the Kaiba crystals. No, but there are still planets out there that were kept secret. That's true. Sorry. I mean, there's a lot. You know, Pal- Palpatine knew a lot, but he didn't know everything. True. Haven't you heard of Outbound Flight? No, I haven't. There was this plan from the Jedi Order to um, take a bunch of Jedi, move them into the unknown regions, and build a Jedi army. Because uh, they knew the dark side was rising, they wanted to be prepared for it, but he, they knew the Jedi Order wouldn't go for it, so right. they know, do it in secret. And Palpatine, he ordered the destruction of the ship, but not because of the plan, just because he knew there were Jedi on the ship and he wanted them dead. Oh. He didn't awesome. know what the Jedi were planning. He had no idea why they wa- why they wanted to leave. Also, how fucking stupid are the Jedi? Oh, they're fucking. Oh uh, yeah, they're just like, like I'm just. Oh sitting, man, I'm, there's I'm, all this darkness. I wonder where it is. And Palpatine's like, Hey guys, how's it going? He's wearing the rope. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking about this. I'm like, okay, what's the point of fighting you? If I know if I kill you, there's another you that's gonna be just coming up, right, equal or stronger. There's always exactly. two. Always two. Never. Exactly. Which is why they kind of fucked up with Star Wars The Clone Wars, because there was more than two. Definitely more than two. Rule of, no, um, Darth Maul was supposed to be dead. I know. But then they started their own sort of Sith Order with Savage and then. Yeah, that's not wasn't supposed to happen, but... Surprise! Because but like, Darth Maul didn't die like he was but, but that's to. another thing. Okay, so in like the end of like Star Wars... Like the third movie or whatever initiated or whatever sixty four, or, or sixty six. Sixty six, yeah. When they killed all those Jedi's, they just made Obi Wan twenty times more stronger much. and Yoda yeah. twenty times more stronger because for every Jedi they killed, that a light side of the Force went out and went right into them. Pretty much. Yeah. So they made super Jedi's, which which explains why Yoda was like. It fe- I know it was like great pain where he's like, oh fuck, all my friends are dead. But I feel like it's also that influx of force where he's like, oh fuck, am I having a heart attack? No, nope, it's, it's actually the force. Oh fuck. Oh my god, I'm about it's- to die. Yeah, just gotta cut his head off. Yeah, cut this guy's arm off. Kick him down. Fuck that dude. Yeah, honestly. But like, really, like, how did he not think of that? He did think of it. What? What's the point? What he was thinking is, um, if you kill all the Jedi at once without them knowing, how, what Jedi are gonna be left to? Gain all that strength. Of course, there were Jedi left in hiding that yeah. they had no idea. Of. Which you know, Star Killer kind of. I just like the idea that they no, turn around. Star Killer. They, I know. I, they turn around, kill all those Jedi at once, except those kids that Anakin goes and kills later. And the fucking kid goes up and cuts Anakin's head off. Like, yay! Yeah, that one <laughs> Fuck guy. you, bitch! I have the force of Yoda in me! It's that one kid who's just like, Master Skywalker, there's too many of them. What are we gonna shank? <laughs> What are we gonna... Oh, you're evil. Sink! <laughs> you have a point, though, because if you read comics, Darth, they were just released. Um, Darth Vader, when he was going out to get his crystal, he had to steal it from a Jedi. That was Palpatine's orders. And the Jedi he was, for, he was ordered to steal it from was incredibly powerful. And he wasn't allowed to use anything. Like, he just had to go in with his... You know, Darth Vader almost fucking died mm-hmm. fighting that Jedi. Right, I think I read that. You know, Darth Vader was... 
Anakin is the chosen one, incredibly strong in the Force from birth, and gets a bit he was almost killed by a Jedi. Mm-hmm. Like, but like that just points out like how stupid it is to fight. Does anybody else think the Force Unleashed was a very good video game? I yes, I was. do. I liked I absolutely. Liked, I I know I'm gonna be the only one. But I'm I glad the someone version. said it. <laughs> I liked, yeah, it's the same thing. I liked the handheld version because one, that's all I had as a kid was handhelds, mm-hmm. and two, it felt it felt natural. I'm I'm so glad someone said it. Yes. I feel like secretly, like everyone thought it was a bad game, so I never said anything. Now that someone well, said it, it was such a. Good I don't game. think it was bad. From it was a story perspective. I think just from a gameplay perspective. Oh, like mechanics and stuff. Yeah, from mechanics. It, it yeah, it became button boring. mashing, but it was so fun. Yeah. Like the force moments where literally uh, you hold up an entire space station mm-hmm. and just yeet it. Just yep. yeet it. It's into the guy. The that's the guy that like dual wield lightsabers. Yeah, right? Star Killer. Yeah. yeah. Star Killer's a badass. What a badass. The red one and the blue one. Three eggs, and then later on in the game, you can unlock like literally any combination. Yeah. So I would have like a black and a purple. Oh, it's so oh, the dark blades. Yeah. Dude, that game oh, was the just... Mandalorian blades. Yep. So I, good. I love the Mandalorian blades. Is there any more? Yeah, or I like how we kind no, of went got, on. I've got a bunch more. We went on a Star Wars chant <laughs> chant for a long time. Yeah, let's uh, let's rapid shoot off the rest of them. All right, um, the finale for Adventure Time. There's a finale? There's yeah, a finale? Like the final... Like, Shit, I want to see it. Coming to an yeah. end. Let's see it. Oh, fuck. No, it's not out yet, but like it's coming out. Yeah, yeah let's it's like, see it. It's like, oh, okay. it's like when I found out regular show ended, it's like, oh shit, really? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Um, yeah, that's... It's really sad. I know. Yeah. I know, I saw Because, yeah, it ended with a movie. Adventure Time. No, regular show. It yeah, did? Regular show. It was a movie yeah. or was it, it a special? A there's a, there's I thought a it was movie. just a... Uh, I saw TV it special. I saw it on Hulu. It said regular show the movie. Oh. I think it was like a TV. Special. It was probably a TV like special, but it was yeah. like a movie. It was mm-hmm. long enough to classify as a movie. Yeah. Um. Super. Uh, apparently, Supernatural is still going. I thought that. Was yeah. That, no, they're going on and that's on. That's never on gonna on die. Crap, though. Yeah. Um, Isn't it, the latest one had like Satan's son and they're protecting him and he's like actually good or I, something? I could care less. I don't watch it anymore. The Walking Dead, Christ! What? The Walking Dead is still going. Why? Let it die for the it's, love of it's, God! It's coming to an end. I mean, it's it's keeping up with the comic books. That's yeah, why it is. it's yeah because they made Sanctuary. It's called yeah. Yeah, but they keep adding like main characters, except that one guy. Which if he dies, you know how many people are gonna be like, "Well, I'm done." Daryl, he's not in the comics. No, yeah, Daryl's not in the comics. Coral's dead. Yeah, that's why he's still alive. Exactly. Because they don't know how to kill him. Yeah. They can't kill him. Yeah. Because well, they, they could. kill they him. There's they're... riots in the street if they kill him. Well, what, but what they said may the, never the, die. The main character, Rick, Alan this e. is his last season. Yeah. So he's gonna die. Yeah. Um, I just don't want them to kill. Um, who's the? Um, who who does Norman Reedus play? Um. Daryl. Daryl. Yeah. I want him to live. They can't kill him. Yeah, they they, they can't figure out how to kill him. I know. I and love if they Darryl. do kill him, people are going to be upset. Cause people gonna are going to be like, I'm done watching this. Norman yeah. Reedus they and the funky con- fetus must it, live. I'm pretty sure after this season, it's going to be done. Because it's yeah. the, like, the char- the, like the actual main character from the first episode is now dead. Yeah. Like They do that with <clears> other shows, and like that's when it just goes off. They need to they need to end it like they began it, where he's lying down in a bed, and then he just passes. Yeah. Uh, Iron Fist Season 2. Or he wakes up and no. all thinks in a dream. If, if the first one's not good, the second one's gonna be I, just as bad. I, I liked the first one. I Which liked one? the first Sorry, season. I was attention. Iron, Iron Fist. Fist. Oh, they're making a second one? Yeah, yeah. Also, can I just say, in season two of Luke Cage, Danny Rand is like a freaking sugar daddy mm-hmm. to all of his friends. Like, let's be honest. Um, next. Okay, what's next? Uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly. Okay. Uh, I've seen the trailer. The art, looks, the art style is good. Mm-hmm. The art style is different. It lo- looks like it's made to be like a moving comic, a moving manga. I, I have just one question: Is this going to be canon? If not, this will be. I canon. don't want. This it. will be canon. This will be canon. Because Broly. Because in the then movie, the last like, Broly movie is technically no, not canon. No, they're not. Because I don't think Akira Toriyama did much with them, but this one he did all of it. Yeah. Also, um, there was like three Broly movies before this. There's only two. There's Broly two? and Return of Broly. Yeah, there was oh, Broly, no, right. and then Return of Broly. Was that Bio Broly? I yeah. yeah, I never. Yeah, saw yeah, that was with Goten and Trunks. Dragon Ball. Yeah, someone explain to me who the fuck Broly is. He's like a super super Saiyan. He's the really buff Saiyan. boy that does like yeah. the clothesline move. Uh, okay. He he is a he's, super Saiyan. He's like the super Saiyan. He's a super Saiyan by definition, green. just because he was born with such a high power level. He's super Saiyan okay. green. Yeah, so when he when he was born, he was born with a ten thousand power level. Which, to put that in perspective, that's about 
Goku was point, not. That's about what? 0.5% of what Krillin is. Yeah. Not to mention. Now. Yeah. Not to mention, Goku was only over 9,000 when he fought the when he fought Vegeta. Yeah. Yes. The only. first time he fought Vegeta, he was only over 9,000. And he was an adult. Also, that, that was he with was, Kaioken he's, times two. Yeah, with Kaioken times two, mm -hmm. he was able to beat him. Hmm. Broly had more than that. Also, yeah. And um, this is showing him going like Super Saiyan Blue, and Broly still hasn't even gotten any form of Super Saiyan. If you, I'll, I'll, I'll show you the trailer. I think I've seen it. Yeah. Shows me. Also, yeah. when he Argus. teaches that Broly chick to go Super Saiyan, I'm like, are you fucking ridiculous? Well, see, have us? you seen the things like on Facebook or like any like social media where it's like Goku is going Super Saiyan Blue and he's coming up to Thanos. He's got all the Infinity Stones. He's like, here, here are the stones. Now fight me, because Goku always wants the hardest challenge possible. Yes, I know, because he's an idiot. Yeah, because he's an idiot. Exactly. Also, also um. Broly's dad, is it Argus or something else? I don't know. It's another I, reason why. Old, okay, I like him. I like this design better than what he was in the original movie. The original movies are coming into theaters because in September. Yeah, because it makes more sense that he has like an, a more aged look because his son is a fucking adult. Yeah. But that's another reason why he could never be in Smash <clears throat> because the Smash Ball appears. He gumps up, gives it to the enemy. Yeah. Here, <laughs> take this. Fight me at your max power. Oh yeah. god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then the last thing on here, I mean, there's like a lot of other like things that I've been skipping. So like DC Legend of Tomorrow, there's Supergirl, Flash, Arrow, okay, yeah, um, things that I don't think all Supergirl, the Netflix stuff. All the Supergirl Netflix. is well, that's CW. Yeah, CW Supergirl stuff. is garbage. I don't know where they're going with Legends of Tomorrow. The Flash was good. I haven't caught up with that. Arrow, I don't know where they're going. Yeah. Um, the last thing on here is Steven Universe the movie. They're making a movie. Uh, oh, that's right, White Diamond. I kind of gotten, I kind of gotten bored with it. Yeah, because after a while, it was just I couldn't get into it. Yeah, me. too. I got into it for a little bit, and then I was like, my only, my only, no. the only favorite episode I had was the Cookie Cat episode, and that was it. Cookie Cat. He's a pet for his tongue. Cookie Cat. And it's and it's basically super super yummy. And it's basically a parallel of the gems, like the the whole story of Cookie Cat. He left his family behind. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, that's dark. Yeah, that's another thing. Like, it gets really dark, and I don't know when yeah. it gets dark, or it gets and, like really real. And yeah. I want to see like I want to see those episodes when it gets really real because it kind of doesn't for like the whole two seasons, mm -hmm. and then apparently it gets really dark and real. Like, yeah. all I see is just videos of them crying over and over and over and over yeah. and over. That's Tumblr. And I'm like. What the fuck? I like I don't know what's going on. Anthony, Plus, you're Snapchatting. It's, it's also never <laughs> fucking on for me. Yeah. Also, they have a lot of inconsistencies with like scale of characters, because at certain points, Steven is like way shorter than like everyone else. But Steven's also growing up. True. But still, like at a distance, he looks he's like up to Garnet's knee when in reality he's like, like up to her waist, which I'm just like, what the fuck. But that's neither here nor there. I do know that there's something else coming out. I'm not sure if it's on your list. What? I might have skipped it. Oh. There's a there's a My Hero Academia movie coming oh, out. Oh, yeah. Don't Perfect judge time. me. It's a good anime. Judge hey, me. I was watching it the other day. I want to get into that anime. Yay! It's really good. Yay. I was watching the episode where they, uh, the League of Evil characters or whatever. Oh, yeah attack the training ground and i was like damn dude that one kid with the balls on his head he fucking sucks oh, that's yeah. like Min minata yeah he's, he's terrible a, he's a fuck boy and nobody the, likes him the main Whoa. character used his finger and just fucking fucked everything yeah the flick yeah um, i was I, like damn he broke his finger in like 90 places i remember something that i'm surprised jared didn't mention um that they talked about the metal gear solid movie coming out Oh, fuck, I forgot about that shit. Uh-oh. Oh, oh you, got, you got seven minutes. <laughs> what? Okay, so, um, Metal Gear. What I like is that the director is not working directly with Konami. He's working with Kojima, who's the original creator, mm -hmm. which is good. In fact, they're, they're really good friends on Twitter and also just in real life. He went yeah. to the Kojima offices. Well, what about the fact that, like, no video game movie ever has ever been good? Well, the, the thing is, like, they're not making it off a of video game. They're, like, making their own story just using the characters and, like, ideas from the game. Yeah, which they did That's... with Assassin's Creed. But... Yeah, and, and Assassin's Creed, the only reason that didn't work well is because they for they failed to explain certain things. Right. 
Um, but otherwise, that movie would have been fine. Yeah, and I also like how they're revealing concept art for the games. Also, I feel like the thing about the Assassin's Creed, people wanted to know more about the actual lore of mm-hmm. Assassin's mm-hmm. Creed, mm-hmm. Yeah. and then they gave them something totally different, and people got upset about that. Yeah, yeah I was... They're like, uh, you need to explain like what the fuck the... Yeah, that's the apple they didn't know whatever it is. Mm-hmm. And yeah. that's you right. need to explain this stuff. They're like, we need the apple. Why do we need the apple? Uh, if you played the game, you knew. And that's what the whole I thing I didn't is. play the yeah. game, but I still know the apple's important. Yeah, you just know it's important, but you don't know why. Yeah. Wait, even if you play the game, you don't even know why it's important. Because mm-hmm. the game a... ends with you just getting it and then killing the chick. Yeah, well, I mean, it depends who's on... Who's a Templar. Depends on which game. Yeah, there's different games. They have different um, Eden weapons. Was it the and second artifacts. one where you met the uh, first assassin? It's the that one, Revelations. Okay, I was curious. <laughs> that one po- <laughs> yeah, points at a poster. Yeah, there's a poster on a door that's just Assassin's Creed Revelations. Yeah, yeah I but like anyways, but yeah, so, yeah. No, I like because that they said it is going to be a movie. Not basing, it's not going to be like this is going to be Snake Eater the movie. It's this. This is we're going to take Snake. We're going to put him in war or whatever. And this is a movie based on that character. Also, I'm glad that when they showed him fighting the geckos in uh, the Middle East, they put moo. Yeah. Because that's the noise they make. Mm -hmm. And it's so out of the blue. Until you realize all of the Metal Gear noises are baby animal noises, but, like, changed. (laughs) I kid you not. (laughs) Which makes Rex, like, more adorable. (laughs) Because it's just like, you're just a baby animal. Oh, fuck missiles! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, a nuke! Ah! Literally, he does have a nuke. I know, that's why I said it. Yeah. So yeah, that's coming out sometime next year, I think. Yes. Wait, no, wait, no, they, they haven't even cast it yet, so no, no. it probably won't come out for like two years. Yeah. I'm still excited. We'll yeah. watch that. Yeah, I'll yeah. definitely watch it. And we'll watch it. Maybe it'll yes. make me like Snake better. Probably not. I'm, I'm curious to see which, like timeline they're going for if they're going to do like a whole anthology where it's like oh it's big boss and then it's solid snake and then it's raiden maybe maybe i don't i think they're just gonna stick on one that's too much please let it be big boss big boss big boss big boss i like big boss okay you gave him like an erection or something (laughs) like what the fuck did you just do to him all right that's it (laughs) (laughs) that was our comic-con Dissection. Yes. Ooh, kind of a dissection. We just talked about trailers and stuff. Well, I mean, that's all the stuff that came out of Comic Con. That oh, is okay. Comic Con in a nutshell. Yeah, we didn't go We to said Comic-Con. what we were excited for, what we're not excited for. Uh, me and Matt, we hate everything. Except for Clone Wars. Except for Clone, Except Clone Wars. Wars. I'm excited for Except Clone for Wars. Adventure Time for me. Fuck. Um, <laughs> I'll give anything a chance. Yeah. Except for, you know, fuck Batman. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag fuck, fuck Batman. Batman. <laughs> that's going to be the has. That has to be Damien, right? It's gotta be. It has to be. No, no other one hates him so much except Jason. But Jason's but he, red hood. Yeah, and Jason's never been a part of Teen Titans. No. All right, we're out. All Let's right. get going. Bye. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out, and support our Patreon, and follow <laughs> all of our other social medias as well. Am I forgetting anything? Um, no. No. All right. Thanks for watching or listening or yeah. yeah.